Okay, got your binoculars, put those on. Now open the door careful. Look outside. Is it all clear? No. Yep. All clear? Okay, let's go down the path. Our nights are scheduled on a rotational basis. Um, it's not up to Tom at all. It is left up to the wives. And we have all decided together that if it's just one right after another and in turn, then it would be a lot simpler to keep track of and also to help deal with, you know, jealousy. And uh, when it is um, our night with Tom, it is totally up to the woman to initiate whether or not she wants to be intimate with him or not. Through the tall grass. Quiet, Misty. Oh, here's a tall tree. Let's climb it real slow. Keep climbing. Don't climb it fast. What was Tom like on your wedding night? Yeah, of course, I have to say he was experienced. <laughs> so he taught me and explained things. And one thing that he did is he would draw on my belly where the, the what? <laughs> that green one. I never get that part. He would what? <laughs> Explain. Uh. <laughs> no, this isn't okay. Let's not do this part. <laughs> what, he'd draw on your belly and tell you where a baby would be? Uh, well, how it works, actually. Like where the uterus is, where the ovaries are. <laughs> and what to explain. Just, just explain to it to me. The reproductive system of the female. <laughs> Get your binoculars. Look all around. What do you see? See a lion? Oh no, quick, down the tree. In the water, swim the river, quick. Down the path. I see our cabin. Quick inside, shut the door. Unusual for a mother and daughter to be married to the same man. I've heard of a lot of them, but most people think it's wrong. I don't see anything wrong with it, really. <laughs> it, it it is kind of rare to have your mother marry your husband, but in some areas and regions, it's not. But isn't it strange to see your mother going off to spend a night with your husband? It may sound very strange that to think that my mother was with my husband, but you have to realize that this is the way I believe life ought to be lived. And this is a very deeply held religion for me and my family. And through my whole childhood growing up, I was taught taught the values and the the reasons and the whys and the hows and and for me it was natural and what was it like to have two baby boys on the same day by the same man and be mother and daughter yourselves well, she was real <laughs> mad at me yeah because I was first I was gonna have the firstborn and <laughs> I, wasn't I had my her. baby in the morning <laughs> and she had hers in the evening and and I just moved over. <laughs> she had yeah. hers in the same spot I had mine. <laughs> and they were both Tom's children. Yes, yeah. they were. What were your boys' relationships to each other? They were brothers to themselves, and they were, they were sons to us, and they were also, her child was my brother, and my child was her grandson. <laughs> so as I think that there's about in every relationship. <laughs> we are very closely related. <laughs> Sam, the baby on the left, was born with Down syndrome. Jerry, the baby on the right, died in a fire three years later at the Greens' home. Not died. Not died. He's in heaven, not died. Um, a couple winters ago, our home burnt down, 
and Carrie and Linda managed to get all of the children out and Jerry was the only one that they could not get out and he he burnt he died in the fire and um, we all miss him the night of the fire I had made plans to go to Salt Lake because I was a month prior to having my twins and um, we weren't sure if they were going to come early and we made we had made plans to go to town that night and I had made a point to not say goodbye to my son because he gets so sad when I do and several hours after going to bed that night we got a call on the phone and Tom answered the call and it was Linda she was at a neighbor's home and said she had told him that she said Tom the house burnt down and we got everybody out and he just, just gave a sigh of relief and then she says except for Jerry which was my son my fourth child and um, there were 25 children in the old homestead we were living in. Later on we found out that it was a wiring problem. Well, Jerry died right here, and we used to put a board over it, but now my mother, the one who born Jerry, she has his body in a little container, and his body is ash now, but they did find a couple bones and stuff, so... We had a funeral, and I just didn't like the fire. And Jerry died here. You come here often? No, not so often. We go to here more than his grave, though. But I go to his grave more often. Hardly anybody's gone to his grave. I gotta help bury him. I I just didn't like it. When that fire occurred, the shock of knowing that my son did not get out, I, I just kept shouting no. I mean, in my heart. You know, when something happens that you just don't ever want to have happen and you you want to make it unhappen, but you can't, you know? And then I, I thought, but it's winter, the snow's deep, and we don't have a sink, uh, any shelter. Where am I gonna put all my children? Do you have enough time to attend to all your children? I don't have enough time to attend to my children. <laughs> I know that I'm I'm, I'm in over my head, but I'm also convinced that, that we can make the time. Uh, for the last two or three years, I've been saddled with the, just trying to, to cover the basic necessities, and it seems like every time we start getting close, then a wind comes and demolishes our houses, or a drunk runs into one of our homes and demolishes it, or a fire burns it down, or other things come along just when we're ready to settle in and sets us back. And, you know, I, We'll never quit. <laughs> Why have you done this to yourself, though? We put ourselves in this position. What we're doing is a very key and elemental part of our religious belief. And it's tremendously challenging, and commensurately, it's tremendously rewarding. If it wasn't challenging, it wouldn't be just and fair to pour out the kind of rewards and blessings that we receive. So it has to be tough.
dreams for this place? I have a great big grassy area for the children to play on and a covered sand area where they won't get so sunburned and 